watch uh, the UFC and so forth, I don't think they realize what a badass Joe himself is, man. He's really quite the athlete. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, killer submission wrestler. Uh, wow, I watched him kicking uh, the, his, uh, the banana bag in, in his garage. Jeez, the damn thing was bending in half. I mean, wow, the amount of power. My ribs are just hurting just watching him kick that bag. It was like, whoa, what, a, what an athlete this guy is. Yeah, no, I pride myself on my spinning back kick, and Joe Rogan put a video out he's taught as it's hard to do these kicks but he's talking through the tutorial and he hits this bag like a car uh, like yeah exactly like a truck <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's just amazing that he gets into this many things goes as deep and uh, something I was says uh, Musashi would say is if you see the greatness in one area you can start to add it to other things so if he sees it in comedy you can see it in martial arts you can see it in pool he can see it in, in uh, fitness, so. Oh, you know, he's a, he's a, uh, a bow hunter. He practices archery. <laughs> he was showing his new bow and arrow. Yeah, it, it is at his studio. He opens up the door <laughs> and sets a target out the back door. And then he shoots from the front room through the second room into, the, into these targets that he sets up. And he's damn good, man. I mean, he, he was just putting arrow after arrow in the, the bullseye. Did you try was, it? Yeah, nah, nah, I, uh, I decided not to uh, to try it. <laughs> I, I didn't want to make a fool of shoot, myself. Shoot a hole in a wall. Um, have you? Do you, what do you? Do you ever hunt or anything, or do any? Uh... I did at one point. Um, I, I actually, when my son was, I wanted to have some type of ritual for him. You know, like we don't have a manhood ritual like they do in most societies. Right. The closest thing we have is maybe the military service for young men, but there's no real passage from young boyhood into young manhood. So I decided to take my son on a hunt. And we went hunting wild boar up in Tioga County, Pennsylvania. Yeah. There was a wild game preserve. It was about 100 acres or 150 acres. It was a pretty, pretty big tract of land. And it was stocked with all types of animals. And one of the things they had were these razorbacks, these, these boars that they brought in from uh, the Florida Everglades in Georgia. They're considered pests down there because they just rip up the environment. So they, they were running around this vast game preserve. And we were hunting with pistols. I had a 45 caliber pistol, the old service pistol. Yeah. And um, we tracked these boars pretty much all day. They're pretty savvy. And they, they knew they were being hunted. Mm -hmm. And they were really elusive score. But finally we got one that thought he was hiding better than he was. And I slipped the pistol out of the holster and put it into Zach's hands. And I had him take aim. He had been practicing and he's a pretty good shot. Boom, he hits it, but we don't know where. And the thing jumps up and it's kind of shivering. And I'm thinking, okay, here, give me that pistol. And I just had to put another one in there because I didn't know at that point. But apparently, uh, he had hit him perfect. He had hit him right in the chest, right in the, the um, right through the lungs. But I put one right behind his ear. And then um, the, the game preserve, they will bring the, the guy helped us field dress it. And, um, we took the boar to uh, back on a uh, front end loader, back to the barn where they dressed the meat for him. And so Zach was watching, and he was like, oh. and I said, no, 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 don't turn away. Mm -hmm. You watch this process. If you cannot stand to watch this boar being skinned and gutted and all the stuff, then you should become a vegan or a vegetarian. You should never eat meat, because this is, this is the reality of life. If you can watch this, and then you can still have a boar steak later, okay. No problem. If you can't watch it, then you shouldn't be eating meat because there's the meat wrapped up in you know, the nice plastic wraps in the supermarket. People need to know what actually goes into of course. the production of that meat. And if you can't deal with it, you probably shouldn't be eating it. Yeah. That's, that's just my opinion. So for me, I'm a true carnivore. It didn't bother me one bit. Matter of fact, I was salivating. I wanted some of the... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I wanted boar, some boar stew, man. And believe me, we had probably 300 pounds of meat that we packed in coolers all the way back to Philly from Tioga County. Like quite a few hours in the, um, we had it packed in dry ice. Then I put it in my freezer, man. We had boar steaks, boar stew, boar everything. Yeah. Boar chitlins, I mean, just went on and on. But it's sure was